What's up, everybody? It's a Blue Drake, and today I have got a huge Kerbal Boner. You know why? Because fucking Multiplayer came out! Yeah, it did. It did. It's a mod. It's not official, but it still exists now. And I actually, now that Multiplayer is out, I have made a mod suggestion that I posted in the forums that's getting a little bit of traction. I'm going to link that in the description. It's called Kerbal Warfare. It's essentially like a PvP game mode for Kerbal Space Program. Check it out. Go post on it if you have a Kerbal Space Program forum account and, you know, rate it high and discuss it and everything. Um, and, yeah, hopefully that actually occurs at some point in the future. But... In the meantime, we're going to take a look at this sick as hell mod. Now, the other mods before, the semi-multiplayer mods, all they did is they kind of let you see other players, or at least see what the other players are doing, but you couldn't actually interact with them. Well, that all changes now. Now you have full-on multiplayer. Now, it's pre-alpha, so there's a lot of bugs, and they're ironing out a lot of shit, and the guy who made this was like, you know, I'm not a coder, you know, I'm just kind of doing this because I know I can, and I got a lot of help from the community. So, when it comes straight down to it, yeah, it's, it's, it's alpha as shit, and there's lots of bugs, but hopefully he's going to get some help, and they're going to polish it up, because even as a pre-alpha, this works so well. It works so well. You have everybody in the same game mode. You can still warp and everything, um, and essentially what happens is when you warp, uh, everybody is in their own time frame, so you can have somebody in the future, you can have somebody in the past, but you can still see their ship. Um, for instance, if somebody warps ahead of me, uh, their ship stays in real time, and whatever they do in the future, the ship in real time will also do in my time frame. But if I want to, if you can see here, there's this little sync button, I can sync up to different people's future and stuff so we can still play together in real time. Um, and as you can see here, here's the player list and it's talking about what everybody's doing, showing. You can even go to the viewer and uh, see exactly what they're doing and where they are. Um, and see, here's me. This guy's building a freaking ship. Um, you have to have a really, really solid connection if you want to do stuff like docking and stuff. That's still kind of a work in progress, but it works. It actually does work. And in fact, the easiest way that we found to do it is you can just uh, put a ship in orbit, like your friend can put a ship in orbit. Oh, God. Is my thruster still going? Oh, man. How big is my... Ah! Anyways, you can put... Your friend can put a ship in orbit, and then he can go back to the tracking station so it's not constantly trying to sync up with him. And then you can go into orbit and dock with his ship. So you guys can build space stations together. You can build, like, moon bases together. You can race to Mars. Um, you can dock and swap crew. Um, or you can do PvP awesome combat shit, which is my suggestion in the forums. Go click that goddamn link, uh, or pretty much do whatever you want. So, yeah, sick as hell. I'll also put the link to this mod um, in the the description. There are two types. There's You can host your own server, um, or you can just get the, the client and install it like a normal mod. I recommend just getting the client and connecting to some public servers. This is just a public server that's up. A uh, little bit of a warning. Uh, some of the servers don't have, like, limits, which is stupid. I don't know why they wouldn't and they have like billions and billions of things just floating in space um which is really annoying uh because it lags the shit out of everything but most normal servers like this you know have kind of like a object limit which is great and makes it not lag so hardcore um but still it's exciting as hell uh I love it so much. And the coolest thing, one of the coolest things you can do is, uh, obviously everybody has different kinds of ships and everything. So, for instance, you know, this is Kerbalon 5, Explora 4, 14 wheeler that's my ship so you can log into these servers and some people just bring in their custom ships to the server and just let them fly in space and you can just fly them like i don't know what the hell this is untitled spacecraft whatever so i mean i came into one server and there was like a dude that had like f-16s and stuff and one dude had like a battle cruiser and i could get in them and like screw around with them it was cool as shit um you can set your ship uh your ships to public or private so you know you can only get in ships that they let you get in so that way you if you bring your own ships you can build like stations and stuff and unless obviously they come along and blow them
them up. Nobody can jump into them and, you know, screw with your mission. But yeah, you can leave the server, come back, continue playing what you were doing before. Uh, it's almost like Minecraft servers now, where Minecraft, you had a server and everybody could come in, and you could either have grief or douchebags who would fuck everything up, or you could, like, work together and build cool things, and yeah, it's awesome as hell. So check the links in the description. Give it a look. It's cool as hell. Uh, I might do more videos in the future. Me and my friends were trying out some cool stuff uh, yesterday. Like, for instance, um, I was flying and I ran out of fuel, so my friend launched a ship and rescued my crew members and brought them back to Kerbin. Like, that was cool as fuck. Uh, you can do stuff like that all the time now. So, yeah, KMP, Kerbal Multiplayer. Links in the description for that and also for my suggested game mode, which you should freaking check up because I'm like... Check up, what the fuck? <laughs> Get your medical checkup. Whatever, you should check that out, because I think it's a cool as hell idea, and I think, especially with Kerbal Multiplayer being a thing now, it would be a lot more reasonable to achieve than before. So, yeah. Alright. Awesome. Uh, well, you know, I'm not very good at ending, so, you know, have a, have a good day, or whatever. Um, and suck my